Hi, this is Zhongli Yang, a PhD student in the Santec team. Today, I would like to introduce our research named end-to-end -end case based reasoning for common sense knowledge based completion. The background is that common sense knowledge based completion, also called CKBC, is a generative task and is knowledge intensive. It can be shown in the right figure where the models are required to generate the object given subject and relation. So we assume that if the input can be augmented with relevant knowledge, performance can be improved. However, because of reporting bias, it's hard to find related common sense knowledge on the web. So reporting bias here refers to a phenomenon that people really discuss about the obvious, which are common sense, because it's too obvious to say them. And this might compose a challenge for, for this task. And the background also the background can also uh, the case-based reasoning background is that uh, the case-based reasoning, also called CBR, is a subject of classical AI, which involves four steps, which can be shown in the right figure. When given a new problem, the CBR system systems will first retrieve from case-based the past solutions and reuse the past solutions as the proposed solution, and then revise the proposed solution to confirm solution. A revised step might include a uh, human effort and then return the confirmed solution back to the case base. Past research in CBR has applied deep learning in service of CBR. However, CBR has potential complement advantages over deep learning and it's, it is advocated within the CBR community to use CBR to improve deep learning. However, few works have been done towards this research direction. So as it is an intersection between two research fields, so we can first summarize what we have done in this work. The first is that for CKBC task, borrowing insights from CBR, we propose that benefits can still be gained by retrieving relevant knowledge from existing common sense knowledge tuples, such as TwinSet. So specifically, we propose a new framework and a new training strategies. For CBR, we propose the new first concrete implementation of the integration of the full methodology of CBR to deep learning. Sorrow analysis on the integration also provided substantial improvements over the prior short methods in CKPC in terms of both automatic and human evaluations. So our, our method can be summarized in this figure. When given a, a, a query, which consists of a subject and relation, a neural knowledge retrieval will retrieve from the case bins of related cases, and the related cases will be augmented, will be concurrent with the current query as the final input to the case augmented encoder. The case augmented encoder is to generate the object given the query consist, consisting of subject relation. And the output can be further revised and returned back to the case space for further usage. We also propose training strategies. The first is random mask, which is that during training, we randomly mask over the in-context demonstrations with certain probability. The second is that reverse demonstration, which we find that at least the most similar retrieved case as the last in-context demonstration can reach better performance. So here shows the automatic evaluation results. Specifically, we use the blue and the perplexity as a result, and we show that in most of the time, in most of the case, ECBRF, which is our framework, uh, the full name is end-to-end -end case based reasoning framework, outperforms comet in all in every case, whether in constant net or atomic data sets, and whether in GPT two or BART as base models. The only exceptions occur so when uh, in atomic data set when the train set is large and the blue shows uh, shows that this uh, does not outperform comet. However, we we uh, say that blue is not a perfect metric as that blue can only compare the generation with uh, the given ground truth, where the given ground truth can have only limited uh, generations where in the CKBC task that the object can be, uh, there can be like multiple correct generations for 
for the task. And as we show in in the next next two slides, that TCBF tend to generate more novel generation, so that uh, the more novel generation is hard to be included in the ground truth set. So, in many examples where ECBR generate reasonable object, but they receive very low score as zero score, and EC and Comet will receive like very high blue score, like a hundred. So we should uh, mostly rely on the human evaluation in this task. So as we show in human evaluation that ECBR outperformed the comet in both constant land and atomic gases, and in both secure shot setting and in a large uh, train set setting. We also evaluate the novelty of the generation. And as we show uh, in this table that uh, ECBRF generation are more novel than the comet, especially in atomic data set where when the training set are large, the ECBRF tends to generate far novel generations than the comet. And this actually matches this, the result in this table where comet shows better blue than ECBRF. It is also in atomic data set and the training set are large. So actually, this the novelty results and the human evaluation result explains so why here ECBRF receives a lower blue score than comet. We also provide thorough analysis uh, on the four steps of CBR. Like the first is a retrieve, and we show that ECBRF with random retrieval shows uh, far worse performance than ECBRF itself. And for reuse steps, uh, we we analyze the num the best choice for a number of demonstrations and the P-mask. P-mask is the probability of masking for masking of in contact demonstrations during training. And we also analyze when the retrieval cases only include object, the performance will be lower. And also without prompt to use to as instructions to the models like which input part functions as as what. So without this prompt, ECPR also performs worse. Uh, and also we show that with larger case base, um, yeah, this 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 result actually re, uh, corresponds to the revise and retain step. Uh, so we the revise and retain step, the results of the revise and retain step are a larger case base with more. Uh, high quality cases, and then we simulate this with that during test time we enlarge the case base, and we show that a larger case base can uh, lead to much better results than ECBRF with a small case base. So, we, so in this way we show the the effectiveness of our revise and retain. Thanks. So this is the rep representation of this research. <laughs> 